Bespoke hairstyles. It's Henna Day. Um, my Henna Mix, um, I've been asked um, about it quite a lot, and I want to share what Melissa does to achieve the redness that I um, love, really. Um, what Henna gives me is it helps cover my greys, which after two weeks anyway, my greys kind of pop up anyway, so it doesn't do it permanently but it gives me a lovely finish that I like. And henna, I use every six, this henna mix I do every like six weeks. But though I call it henna, it is a mixture of many things. So I just want you to see what I do. Um, it might help you, but please, um, it might, it, you might find it completely uh, not useful to yourself. Uh, this is just something that I do and works fantastically for my hair. Right, first break an egg. This will be so hilarious if this falls onto my laptop. But there, there's one egg. And you can see I include the whites. Um, and I've just always done that. And it's just because I add so many things that it helps um, with me applying it. So I love it. But let me just t give you a background. I love red. And I used to colour my hair in the most brightest red colours. and But I've stopped. I I'm trying to go natural. What I mean by that is what I can eat. I try as best as possible to apply this to my hair regime. What I can eat, I can apply to my hair, including my glitter. Um, but I before, um, I used to use this thinking I was growing all natural. And then I discovered that it's got that PPD. Um, I can never pronounce it, but it says something like paraffin Um And it's got other things. Um, and because it had other things, I didn't like it. I just want my henna to say... Henna, H-E-N-N-A, -N -N -A, and that's it. So that's what I do now. I purchase my henna. It's green, um, and I make up the color because I want there to them. I want there to be a redness onto my hair. So this is what Melissa does for her hair. You need a few things. Um, I um, would suggest something to cover your clothes, your a towel or something. And I, you, well, I never really, I'm telling you this because um, be aware that you will come out in stains, but I'm used to it. I, I just, but anyway, gloves. I might use it, I might not. Next recording, check my hands out, see if I did use it. I never do it. And the day after, I just have to say to my clients, sorry, um, I've been hennering, I just have red hands. Okay, so that's what you need. And, and then cutlery, basically, a fork. A couple of different sizes of spoons and um, a strainer for my lemon. Okay, right, henna. I am not a measurer. I am, I just use, I go by sight. So I've got the egg in there and I'll think, right, how much henna do I want? Watch the spoon move like I actually measure it. But um, there's one spoon. I want more henna. Okay, I'm just going to empty it. Um, I don't go by measurement. I just go by sight and... That is enough for me. And there was, really, I should have shown you this, but there was about that much henna um, in. And I'll put that much. I'll just empty this bag. This bag came like this. And I've used it. This is the fourth time I'm using the bag. Sorry, third time I'm using the bag. Um, I just um, pour it in. And it's green. Nicely green, which is what I want. Um, and the reason why I don't measure is because I use many ingredients. So, um, apologies if you're a measurer. Um, this might not be the best YouTube henna to, um, to see. And then I mix. Okay. So, right now it's just got egg and... See what it looks like? It should look like that green, 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 green. Right. Okay. What to do next, what to do next, what's next is ingredients. Okay, so let's go for the lemon. Um, and I always use lemon to help lighten the color. So I just strain it, obviously, because you don't want seeds in it. Um, this is, you, you, you really, it, uh, it's time for me to color my hair. Um, I think I've been so busy, I kind of avoided doing this. But it's really important to my hair regime. So... Even though I'm sounding a bit tired, I am tired because I've had a long day and um, this is the one last routine. If I wasn't grey, 
I could do without. But as I'm grey and I've got natural noir show coming up and I've got a model, I need to do this. So uh, maybe I'm just being paranoid as well. But uh, if you, I would never do a close up of me in gr and my greys. But uh, trust me when I say, when it gets tightens my hair, I hear her breathe heavy on my head and go, oh, oh, oh. So I, I actually know the signal for uh, that my greys uh, are just kind of doing their own thing and just growing. It's fine, I accept them, but sometimes I just want to cover them. Um, I've accepted the fact that I'm going grey, um, but that's a different um, YouTube. Um, but yeah, so did you see me squash the lemon as I chatted about being grey? Okay, so mixing, mixing, mixing. I love honey. So, random Melissa, I put honey in. I love the texture of honey and it just works for my hair. One spoon and a bit. Um, there. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you. So, I soaked some bags, um, tea bags, um, chamomile. It comes out yellow and um, that's why I soaked chamomile. And um, because I'm trying to achieve a coppery reddish tone not copper but a reddish tone to my henna and red bush because when i soak red bush it oh okay that says red bush i think my um i don't know how to do it anyway um it's flipped to um it's not mirroring anymore um, but that should say red bush and um basically red bush tea um, and chamomile give a very nice color like this, like a dirty brownie color. So when I need to mix my henna and all my ingredients, that's what I use. Um, and so I've got the henna in and then I'm going to pour castor oil. I always have some sort of oil. Sometimes I use sesame seed oil, olive oil, almond oil, any oil, but I love my oils in there. So I'm just going to empty my oil into that. And to be honest, as you can tell, this is really bad. I'm not even measuring it, but it's just to give you a guideline that, you know, whatever, you can really use whatever, because it's not gonna harm you, because it is from the kitchen. Stop shaking, Melissa. Right, okay. Um, and that's it. Um, I'm moving the webcam, that's why I'm thinking, stop shaking. Right, okay. So then, I also use apple cider vinegar, um, and watch me just kind of use, pour it into this. Okay, so that's one tablespoon, two tablespoons. That's kind of, okay, a little bit more. Okay, and then I use turmeric, because turmeric um, has that yellowish color, so I'm going to put some turmeric now. I basically shake, 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 shake. I put as much as I feel um, is going to work on my hair because it goes into your tummy, so it's not going to cause any harm. So I want it quite solid yellowy color. So I put quite a lot in there. Two tablespoons of that. Okay, now then I put food coloring. Okay, I used to use carrots crushed, but it was so much work. Um, that I've ended up improvising. I might use carrots again, but for now I'm using red, red food coloring powder, which I bought from the um, shop, local grocery shop. And again, okay, I'll use a teaspoon this time because it can be quite intense. So I'm doing a teaspoon of red, a teaspoon of red, a little bit more of red, okay. So that's my red um, okay and then this is egg yellow can you see it egg yellow it's a form of a powder again and I add see so though I put henna you will find that I use put so many ingredients that the henna isn't really it's dominant but it's everything else is equally important that's a teaspoon put a little bit more 
Right. And then um, I will put, that's it, that's the main ingredients. Then I love my lavender because actually I'm going to sleep with this henna on my head. I'm going to use cling film and a shower cap and tie my head down and sleep basically. And tomorrow I'll wash through. Now before I apply this henna, just so you know, I am going to rinse my hair and wash it through and then apply this henna. I'm just, I'm just putting a little teaspoon of lavender um, just because I love the aroma uh, and that's the only reason why I'm doing it. Um, and that's it. And then mix through and um, just mix thoroughly, that's it. And then, um, so that's, I just wanted to show you the ingredients and then if you feel it needs to be, um, it's too thick and it's to be watered down, that's when you'd use the chamomile and red bush. That's when I'd use the chamomile red bush. I actually don't believe anybody will do this recipe because it's very Melissa, but um, if you do, let me know. Let me know how you found it. And then tomorrow, I shall show you the results of um, this henna mix. But that's, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will be stirring away um, now, and then I'll show you the results tomorrow. I don't think you're ever going to see me apply it, just because I think that everyone knows how to apply um, the colour. But I normally would apply it to the base first, part it in four, to the base, and then um, colour the base first, and then do my ends. Now, let me show you the results of all those mixes, because I don't want brown, I want as red as possible, um, and you'll see the results tomorrow. Um, so. Hopefully the vinegar has helped lighten it, the, the lemon, and there's the mix. Can you see the mix? So that's what's going to go into my hair. Feedback would be great, um, or not, because I don't think this is the best. Um, so, yeah, if you don't like it, just watch another video. This is just to show you what Melissa does. Um, thank you very much for watching, and stay connected. Take care, everyone. See you tomorrow. The next day, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what, what the results are. Take care. Thank you. Bye. I wanted you to see the final um, consistency of my henna mix and also the colour. There it is. Um, I added some more of this, um, the chamomile tea bag and um, red bush mix um, and there it is and that's the result so tomorrow you will see the final results of my henna mix stay connected everyone thank you for watching this video posting tomorrow take care bye bye everyone bye Ah, well, Mono Safel SK, Original.